Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. Almost ready to get underway. Today's starting pitcher, Carlos Hernandez. What do we have on him? He finally picked up his first win of the season. Took him a few starts to get there, but now that you got that behind you, you can focus on moving things ahead. Looking for number two in this one. The pitch. Byron Buxton. Now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Righty to the plate. That one ripped left field. That's back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Byron Buxton blasts one out. Home run number five on the season, and the Twins have the lead now. It's 1-0. Well, we see this so much more today. Lineups with pop in the leadoff spot, and it really puts the pitcher in a tough spot out there where he has to execute right away. You can't just get over a couple of strikes to settle in, get comfortable, because at the plate, that guy's looking to do exactly what he just did. Start the game off with a huge bang. Zips it to first. One out in the top of the first. Here's Carlos Correa. Big time power. And he swings and misses, and it's oh nothing at one. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. This guy's seen two change-ups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Swing and a miss. Throws to first. That takes care of Correa. The first baseman, number three. Harmon Killebrew, the next twin up to hit. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. To third. Witt gloves it. Over to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Another look here at the solo shot leading off the ball game. And the home team down to run. We go to the bottom of the first, and on the mound today, a guy who will give them innings, Jordan Balazovic. Boogie pitched into the seventh, earned the W in his last start. He really needed that one. Well, this team needs another one today. We'll see if he can carry that performance into this game. Ground ball up the middle. Polanco over to pick it up. Fires over to first. One up, one down. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. And yeah, the right-hander deals. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That's the second out. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Next offering is in for a strike. And he deals. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Back here at the ballpark. Second inning set to go. And now the Twins catcher, Joe Mauer. And the right-hander back to work. Out to short. Mondesi fires over to first. And quickly one away in the second. So up next for Minnesota, Paul Molitor. Ripped on a line. Nice grab on the run. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. And now, Jorge Polanco. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Two outs. Hard hit left side. Whips it to first. 
That's out number three. Twins retired in short. Back here in Kansas City. And now the DH. Hunter Dozier. For the Royals. The designated hitter. Hit in the air right Hunter. field. Dozier. Makes the grab one away. Well, oh, just an excellent job to track that one down. That was a tough play, and he tried to stay on his feet, not wanting to dive and maybe have it go by him, but the lunge at the end kind of sent him barrel rolling. Great effort, though, and a nice job to hang on to the ball throughout the catch. Andrew Benintendi at the plate now. Looks at one down below the zone. Swing and a miss, and it's one and one. Daryl Parker assigned to umpiring duty behind home plate. And Boog, with DP, it's sort of a coin flip on those borderline corner pitches. Doesn't really favor one side of the plate more than the other. Sometimes you get a little extra to the plate, and sometimes you won't. It does seem like he evens it out over the course of a game, though. And a foul ball, he stays alive. How much were you aware of the umpire scouting report, or even who was going to be umpiring? Not a whole lot. I mean, there were a couple of umpires that weren't real good. But outside of that, you just kind of went into the game, especially back when I was playing. Popped in the air. Left field. Mordeaux makes the catch. Two up, two down. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit <laughs> that's great edward hey. olivares stands in now and lets that, that one, one go for a strike and he's down 0-2 as he swings through it He's in a great spot right here, ahead in the count, 0-2. All four pitches in play right here, partner. Next pitch just misses, and the count one and two. And a swing and a miss, down on strikes. That is the inning. Royals go to On to the third inning, here's the veteran outfielder, Justin Mordone. Hernandez, back to work. There's the strike. And the pitch. Rip towards third and foul ball. The 0 2. Rip to short. Throw on to Santana. And one away in the top of the third. You got to be kidding me. Did you see that throw? Not really, Boog. I mean, it happened in the blink of an eye, it seemed, but thankfully StatCast is here to help us out. I mean, you don't see many throws across the infield that get up into the 90s, so he really reached back for that one, and he had to to get the out. Santana takes it to the bag. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's Byron Buxton. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. It's not often someone hits a baseball this hard. It's worthy of a stack cast treatment, Singy. Well, I was anxious to see what that exit velo would be. And wow, 116 miles per hour. StatCast absolutely lives for these moments. You know, it's so cool to get that kind of data back almost instantly. Mondesi collects it. They take the force out. And that is that. One left for Minnesota, but they still lead it. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, Adelberto Mondesi up to the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Kick Sandios. Swings through that one out in front that time. Ball to strike. Swing and a miss as he was late. Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch. Perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the stride. That one came in hot, but right down the middle, you're saying to yourself, how did I miss that pitch? Got to make a quick adjustment. Next one is off the play, and the count's even at two. And a swing and a miss. 
One gone, bottom of the third inning. No, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Two outs, base is empty. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. 0 for 6 in the series so far. And that's in there for strike one. Swings over the top of that one. And down on strikes he goes. The big righty strikes out the side. KC down in order. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. And welcome back. And here comes Carlos Correa. The right-hander back to work. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And it's fouled away. Next offering is down low. Boog, it looks like somebody missed the swing sign. That's the first pitch this team's taken for a ball all game long. One and two here. And yeah, that's outside. The next offering misses. And it's three and two. Kicks and fires. Rip to third and caught. And here's the first baseman, Harmon Killebrew. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Love to see it. Power versus power right there. The pitch. Line drive and a base hit right there. Just kind of sliced that one into center. And that extends his hitting streak yet again. This is starting to get pretty interesting, Singy. Yeah, and the way he's going, it seems like there's no end in sight. This is a...
guy that no pitcher wants to face right now especially with runners on base I mean he's doing all the little things right and it just seems like he's in cruise control at the plate and first offering is fouled off left hand hitter waits one and one Swing and a ball popped up. Drops into the glove, and there's two away. Going to have to have a little more discipline in future at bats. That pitch looked good, but you can't hit it. It was just too high in the zone. You usually see a swing and miss or weak contact in the infield. Just a slow ground ball this time. And that is that. Twins wind up stranding one. They lead it one nothing. Welcome back with Merrifield up to the plate. Leading up for the Royals. And first offering is fouled off. With and here it comes. He swings and fouls one off. That's to third. And it gets by him. Here comes the throw. The tag out. And to the play for Kansas City, Nicky Lopez. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And that one off the outside edge. One out. Next pitch has popped up. He makes the catch, and there's two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had now pretty good timing it. on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Perez in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that ends the inning. Nothing doing for the. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the fifth, and now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Jorge Polanco. And the pitch. On a line, base hit. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Kind of a risky pitch coming inside with the breaking ball like that. You have to bury it. Otherwise, it's not too difficult to get the bat to it like he did that time. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Justin Mordo digs in now. In the dirt, but kept close. And the runner stays where he is. In the air to left center. That'll drop in as he plays it on a hop. The throw to third. Not in time. He's safe. Back-to-back -back base hits. That ball right there landed in what they call the no-man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. they got to go a long way as well. This one lifted in the air, left field, and that's a base hit. Here's the throw to the plate, but it's offline. He will score, and they lead by two. Well done, drives in the run. Just a blue pit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Over to Lopez, one, and a run scores on the double play. Two outs, space is empty. And now Rod Carew. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Merrifield makes the catch, and that'll do it. Last half of the fifth. 
ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Hunter Dozier to the dish. Swing and a line drive caught. Ben Intendi to the plate. Flied out his first time. Up next to the boys. First pitch and he just misses. Right into the plate. And it's one and one. The wind of the pitch. Tap back up the middle. Correa over to first. And Benintendi is out. Edward Olivares steps in for the Royals. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. And a foul ball. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Royals back. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Joel Pyams. He last pitched two days ago. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and we get a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Santana makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Well, that's what he's looking for with the fastball above the zone. A swing and miss or weak contact. Bounced out to short. Zips it across. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the power speed combo. Joe Maurer, he's a guy who does it all. That one to first. Santana collects. He'll do it himself. And talk about efficient. Three outs on three pitches, and the inning is done. Back here in Kansas City, and the batter will be the shortstop at Alberto Mondesi. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. Left field. Mordeaux makes the play. One away. Up next to the and now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Here's a 1 1. And a swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes to count. Swings and misses. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And now here is Bobby Witt Jr. Bobby Witt Jr. In there and it's 0-1. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. Next pitch misses. Going to count one and two. Stays alive. Pitch. Got him. And that will end the inning. I think the key is arm. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, we go to the top of the seventh. And now Paul Molitor. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. Oh. Bullpen activity starting up now. Amir Garrett, the left-hander, is getting that big fastball of his ready to go. Swing and a bouncer. Witt over to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Now that the, second the batter now, Jorge Polanco. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. And he swings and misses, and it's oh nothing at all. In the on-deck circle, you really want to use that opportunity to see some pitches and time up the fastball. Last thing you want to do is miss a good, hittable fastball early in the count. Lopez has this one sized up. Two down. 
Two outs, base is empty. And next for Minnesota, Justin Mordo. And what a two-way player, not just offensively, but as good a defensive outfielder as there is in the game. Mondesi fires over to first. And that is that. Joe Smith taking over on the mound. He's making his second appearance of the season. Pitch misses inside. 1 and 0. Oh. Right hander kicks, deals. And a foul ball. The 1 1. Swings through that one. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. On the ground. Oh, he gloves it. Throw to first. And very nicely done for the out. Salvador Perez steps in for the Royals. Oh, that ball drilled back up the box and nailed the pitcher. Fires over to Killebrew. And that is the inning. Royals go down one, two, three. They trail it here, three nothing. Amir Garrett gets the ball now, and he'll do his best to keep this close. Here's a speed threat, Nick Gordon. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. Bounced up the middle, and that squirts through. The center field. Garrett to second on the first double play. Now, now the number two hitter, Rod Carew, and a little something extra at stake in this at bat as he's hitless so far with his hitting streak in jeopardy. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And now the lefty. Tapped softly on the ground to first. That ends the frame. Out of the bottom of the eighth. Now it's the DH. Hunter Dozier. For the Royals. And the pitch. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Next pitch is outside, and the count even one and one. Comes up empty, that's strike two. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come, but you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. And down on strikes, and one away. Now it's Andrew Benintendi to hit. In there for strike one. And the righty deals. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Next pitch has popped up. Whips it to first on the run. Two up, two down. Two outs, space is empty. Edward Olivares now at the plate. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. And strike two. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. KC down in order. Still down, 3 0. Domingo Tapia comes on now, and his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. The pitch. And a foul ball. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Perez on the first. Save. He's out following the drop third strike. Man at first. 
Next is the speedy first baseman, Harmon Killebrew. Hit hard, base hit. And now the Twins catcher, Joe Mauer. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. Correa on his horse and coming home. Throw to third, but he's in there. A run comes in on the play. And he's got a double. Up next for Paul Molitor, the next twin up to hit. Line drive to short and caught. Throw not in time as he's able to get back to avoid the double play. Stepping in the long ball threat, Jorge Polanco. Lifted in the air, right center field. Olivares sizing this one up. Can't get there. Base hit. In to score is the runner from third. It's 5 nothing. Fires the second too late. And he's got a double. He quickly went from hitter to base runner. Love when guys make that transition. And he's got speed to put on a show. So a lefty out of the pen. Jake Brents comes in with runners at second and third. At the play, Justin Morneau. This one high in the air to left center. And Benintendi able to make the grab. Mondesi with a relay home. Safe at the play. It's 6-0. No, that's the third run of the inning. And these guys are doing a nice job of executing it. The plate right now. Next to hit, Nick Gordon. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. In comes the run from third to add on. And they're pulling away up by seven now. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive. Runner takes off. Pitch in for a strike. Tag save. The throw from Perez too late. Wow, these guys are merciless. I'd say a questionable decision to steal third right there with a the big lead. Probably won't be received well in the other dugout. That one ripped just inside the line, and it's down for a knock. The run scores from third, and it's an eight-run lead. It's a double, third hit of the night for him. You got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. Digging he's going, he's going, in, Rod Carew. Here's the pitch. Runner on the move. Throw there. Safe. Well, maybe he thought he should have gone for a triple instead of a double and just decided, I'm going to take third this way. Definitely using his legs to his advantage right here. Out to short. Mondesi handles. And they're happy to just get off the field after that frame. Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the ninth. Now it's the shortstop at Alberto Mondesi. Not shortstop. Here comes a pitch. No, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. And next up for the Royals, Carlos Santana. And first offering is fouled off. Santana. Next offering is fouled back. And that one wrapped foul. The punch out there, down on strikes. And he knew it. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout. And this one looking, obviously. So he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. Well, just another big win today, and everyone is jumping on board behind this ball club. They're playing so well. They're packing the stands, and it's just an exciting break.